In this presentation, I'm going to talk about testis tumor. Testis tumor part one. Epithelial cancers in the testis are very rare primary malignancies. There are two main categories of testicular malignancies. First, germ cell tumors. Second, sex cord stromal tumors. Testicular tumors divided into two main categories, in other words, germ cell tumors, non-germ cell tumors. Germ cell tumors subdivided to two categories, seminomas, non-seminomas. Non-seminomas included embryonal carcinoma, Uxac tumor, choriocarcinoma, and teratoma. Non-germ cell tumors of testis included Leydig cell tumor, Sertoli cell tumor, lymphoma, and some miscellaneous lesions that are very rare. All testicular tumors usually present as painless testicular mass. Testis tumors are solid masses, so do not transilluminate. Testis tumors often evaluated with ultrasound. What is transillumination test? Transillumination is a test used to identify abnormalities in an organ or body cavity. The test is performed in a dark room with a bright light shined at a specific part of body to see the structures beneath the skin. Test this mass usually not biopsies because of risk of tumor seeding into the scrotum and spreads to inguinal lymph nodes. Testicular mass, spatially hypoechoic mass in ultrasound, is removed surgically with radical or chiectomy technique. All hypoechoic masses in testis are malignant unless it is proven otherwise. Germ cell tumors are the most common type of testicular malignancies, 95%. They usually occur in young men between 15 to 35 years old. These factors of germ cell tumors are cryptorchidism or undescended testis, Klinefelter syndrome, Caucasians at higher risk than African Americans, 9 to 1. Previous tumor in contralateral testis, family history of testicular germ cell tumor, testicular macrolithiasis. Other risk factors may include infections such as HIV or chitis, history of trauma to the testis, organ transplant means immune suppression. Germ cell tumors are always malignant. Often they are a mix of subtypes. It means a testicular tumor can have more than one type of malignant cell type. Germ cell tumors are highly curable with five year survival approximately 95%. Seminoma. Seminoma is the most common germ cell tumor. It is the same as this germinoma in females, but seminoma is much more common. And this germinoma is a rare ovarian cancer. Seminoma in gross pathology is a homogeneous mass, gray-white appearance, no necrosis, no hemorrhage, may produce HCG. Seminoma may produce HCG in 15% of cases, also produces placental alkaline phosphatase. Tumor markers. High levels of any one of three tumor markers called alpha fetoprotein, beta human chorionic gonadotropin or beta HCG, and lactate dehydrogenase or LDH may indicate 
a germ cell tumor. High alpha fetoprotein levels can also help identify the type of germ cell tumor by showing whether it is a pure seminoma or mixed with non-seminomas, since alpha fetoprotein is not made by seminoma. However, beta-HCG and or lactate dehydrogenase can be higher if a man has a seminoma, non-seminoma, or mixed tumor. Histology of seminoma. Under microscope, there are undifferentiated germ cells, nests of large cells with clear cytoplasm, central nuclei that surrounded by clear cytoplasm that describe as fried egg appearance. Treatment of seminoma. Seminoma is very famous among solid tumors that is most curable tumor. Treatment is surgery, sometimes plus chemotherapy and radiation therapy if it is spread to the lymph nodes of the retroperitoneum. Generally, it is very curable. Non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. As I said, they are embryonal cell carcinoma, sac tumor, choriocarcinoma, tratoma. Embryonal cell carcinoma usually is a component of a mixed germ cell tumor. Pure embryonal carcinoma is rare. It is a painful mass with hemorrhage and necrosis, the distinctions from seminoma. It may have syncytiotrophoblast and secretes HCG. Yuxac tumor or endodermal sinus tumor. It is another non-seminomatous germ cell tumor of the testis. It is the most common germ cell tumor in children less than three years old. It derives from extra embryonic yuxac cells. It secretes alpha fetoprotein. Alpha fetoprotein normally derive from yuxac cells. The histologic hallmark of the yuxac cell tumor is Schiller dual bodies. They are glomerular like structures called glomeruloid. Choriocarcinoma. It is another non germ cell tumor, non seminomatous germ cell tumor. It is a rare malignant gestational neoplasm in females. In females, often follows normal or molar pregnancy. Rarely may occur in testis or ovary as germ cell tumor. It has syncytiotrophoblast and cytotrophoblast cells. Choriocarcinoma secretes HCG because of syncytiotrophoblast cells. It is useful for diagnosis to check HCG. HCG has two components, alpha subunit, beta subunit. Also hormones LH, FSH, TSH have alpha subunit the same as HCG so that HCG can stimulate Leydig cells like LH and increase aromatase activity, then some androgen converted to estrogens and caused gynecomastia. It also can mimic TSH. In high levels of HCG, it can cause hyperthyroidism. Choriocarcinoma is the most aggressive germ cell tumor, may not cause palpable testicular mass. It is aggressive and spread hematogenously in early stages, often in lungs, liver, bones, can find it at the time of 
diagnosis. It can be presented by a widespread metastasis with very high levels of HCG without palpable mass in the testis. Tratoma. Tratoma has cells from all three germ layers. Ectoderm, like skin, hair follicles. Endoderm, like GI epithelium. Mesoderm, like cartilage. It presents as a large mass with normal tissues, muscle, cartilage. It is often a part of a mixed tumor in adults. Pure teratoma usually seen in young children, usually before age 4. In general, seminomas are localized for a long period of time. 70% identified in a stage 1, that means identified in low stages and confined to the testicles without any metastasis. First metastasized to the lymph nodes and late hematogenous metastasis. In general, non-seminomatous germ cell tumors have early metastasis and often hematogenous. Many of testicular tumors are mix of subtypes, mixed germ cell tumors. For example, embryonal carcinoma is sometimes with teratoma, teratoma, embryonal carcinoma, and yuxac tumor are sometimes with each other. Usually prognosis is worse for a mixed germ cell tumor than a pure germ cell tumor.